Good morning. Today I thought I would share with you a devotional based on uh, some recent work by the Ministerium of the Schwenkfelder General Conference. We as ministers have been keeping our eyes on the situation in our country involving um, racism and uh, the treatment of uh, people of color. And so we brought together a statement that we think would be relative as it stands. And I'd like to read that to you today. It says, in a day when division seems to rule every issue under the sun, it is time for us to speak out against racism. The recent events in our nation have been tragic. In light of these events, we wish to state the following. We affirm with the founders of our country that all men and women, regardless of race, are created equal. As a church, we reaffirm the truths of Galatians 3.28, that in Christ there is neither Jew nor Greek, there is neither slave nor free, there is no male or female, for you are all one in Christ Jesus. As those who stand in line with a persecuted tradition that emerged from Silesia, Germany in the 16th century, we empathize with black Americans. We support them and all people of color in their struggle for justice and condemn racism in all its forms. May God heal our land and may his son Jesus Christ, who is the true way to all reconciliation, be lifted up. The Schwenkfelder Church has historically held that individuals should be guided by a prayer-directed conscience in submission to Holy Scripture. We will pray and act to help bring about social justice in our churches and within our land. And so I read that as it was approved on June the 12th, 2020, as a statement uh, to speak to uh, the situation in our country today. And so may we, as people of God, uh, see everyone created in his image as a precious gift, and may we treat others with love and respect. As Jesus said, the second greatest commandment, beyond loving the Lord our God with all our heart, mind, soul, and strength, is also to love our neighbor as ourselves. May God bless you.